హాయ్ తన అందం అభినయంతో గ్లామర్ ప్రపంచంలో తనకంటూ ఒక ప్రత్యేకమైన స్పేస్ క్రియేట్ చేసుకున్న సక్సెస్ఫుల్ మోడల్ అండ్ యాక్టర్ పీపుల్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ అండ్ ట్రబుల్ షూటింగ్ స్కిల్స్తో నిర్మాతగా రాణిస్తున్న ఒక వ్యాపారవేత్త సామాజిక బాధ్యతతో ఎన్నో సేవా కార్యక్రమాలు చేస్తూనే కుటుంబ బాధ్యతల మీద ఎంతో ఫోకస్ పెడుతూ అదే తన ప్రాధాన్యతగా భావించే ఒక కంప్లీట్ ఫ్యామిలీ ఉమెన్ సో ఐ హ్యావ్ విత్ మీ దిస్ బ్యూటిఫుల్ టాలెంటెడ్ ఎక్స్ట్రీమ్లీ ఆర్గనైజ్డ్ అండ్ అ ఉమెన్ ఆఫ్ సబ్స్టెన్స్ నమ్రత శిరోద్కర్ ఆన్ మై ఛానల్ ప్రేమాది జర్నలిస్ట్ వ్యక్తి జీవితంలో ఒక ఒక కెరియర్ అలా వెళ్తూ ఉంటుంది మధ్యలో ఇంకేదో బట్ యువర్స్ లైక్ మోడలింగ్ యాక్టింగ్ and then you know film production <laughs> now social service and then you're doing so many things see i do things that i'm happy doing hmm. i there's no strategy there's no agenda there's no um, i would say there is no plan yella ite yella ante how how it, it if something comes to me which i think um makes me happy doing it mm-hmm. i'm comfortable doing it i'm not troubling anybody doing it i'm not making people unhappy um i'm i'm very uh, open to you know exploring things okay. that that may help the society mm-hmm. may help my family i think it's it's not something that i've strategized okay. or i've planned mm-hmm. so it's a, it's a very uh, it's a very organic space of of growth but chinna tanam ni chusukunte mee family ki sambandhinchi nen vinnadi mee nanamma your grandmother avada aa rojullone ante mano ee roju inta maadukunta inta progressive progressive ani but aa rojullo she was so progressive oh, and pillaina rendela tarvata acting start chesaranta oh, and your and her husband allowed her ante aa rojullo anni inta yeah. ఎంత కట్టుదిట్టంగా ఉండే లైక్ ఐ థింక్ మై ఫ్యామిలీ హ్యాస్ ఆల్వేస్ బిన్ వెరీ సపోర్టివ్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ ఎవర్ వీ డిడ్ బట్ దే వర్ ఆల్వేస్ నాట్ టు సే దట్ దే వర్ వెరీ ఓపెన్ మైండెడ్ దే దే స్టిల్ వాంటెడ్ అస్ టు బీ ఇన్ అ వెరీ యు నో ఇన్ అ బీ ఇన్ యువర్ లిమిట్స్ బట్ అట్ ద సేమ్ టైమ్ బీ ఫ్రీ టు డూ వాట్ యూ వాంట్ అండ్ వాట్ మేక్స్ యూ హ్యాపీ ఓకే సో that also i try to instill in my kids because today both my sister and me are um, you know we we are very happy wherever we are however we are hmm. and uh, there's no regret there's no um there's no anger there's no like a lot of people yeah, might think yeah. are i should have done that are i should have been i should have been this i should have been that so i think both of us are happy where we are ni kutumbamlone i think it runs a breaking of stereotype annadi aa rojullo avada 1938 1938 lo she yeah. broke the stereotype i frankly she was a very uh, she was a very very open uh, uh, how do you say she was a very brave hmm. she was a very uh, straightforward person and um, i've spent a few years with her okay so um, i used to always ask her like when i used to get ready for my work to go to the shoot so i had started movies by then and she used to be living with us hmm. so she would uh, she would always come and sit at 6 o'clock in the morning to see how my makeup was being done okay and then she would say this is not correct do it like this and then she would tell me she'd say never get up late never go late to your shoot always make sure you have a bath and don't just get up and you know uh, take your work seriously and treat it like god so yanni it used to come to me from yeah. her but normal ga even 70s 80s 90s aa time lo kuda chaala mandi heroines swimsuit esukoni oka scene cheyalante appatlo inkoncha inhibitions undi appatlone 80s 70s lone but in 30s only she explored that 
అంటే మీలో ఒక పొటెన్షియల్ మీ అమ్మ గ్రహించింది మీ నాన్నమ్మ గ్రహించింది మీ నాన్న మీ అక్క ఇంట్లో వాళ్ళందరూ చుట్టుపక్కల వాళ్ళు ఫ్రెండ్స్ అందరికి తెలుసు మీలో ఉన్న టాలెంట్ ఏంటి మీ పొటెన్షియల్ ఏంటి మీరు మాత్రం గుర్తించలేదట ఏదో హనుమంతుడికి తన శక్తి తనకు తెలియదు అన్నట్టు మీరు అట్లా ఉండేవారా ఏంటి ఆ రోజుల్లో సో రిలాక్స్ it has always been a very uh, you know whatever has happened has organically happened and i i you could say i've made the choices that i think are right okay and i'm happy with the choices i made mm. so uh, i was a bit lazy so you know even when i got into acting because i was bored of modeling uh uh-huh. then i got into acting because that was the obvious next step mm. by the time i really enjoyed my work and and i got to uh, you know i i thought very seriously about my craft i met mahesh and and we got married <laughs> so i think if i if i had taken my work seriously my life would have been very mm-hmm. different from what it is now so mm-hmm. i'm not complaining my most happiest moment was uh, when my age and me decided that we should get married and it changed my whole world yeah. changed after that yeah. Yeah. and um, i think the whole experience of being married is is a great experience so i think the whole um, phase of motherhood is a great experience so i don't think i would exchange or change that mm. for anything else it's not not worth it the modeling 93 lo start ayindi when you got when you were announced miss india femina miss india 93 kada oh no so but almost, my, i i started work before almost, that yeah 90 90s so 90 to 98 varaku modeling 98 nunchi cinema lo 2004 varake cinema lo so anni 6 7 8 9 atla short short oh, no. period but how was that period namrata ante meeru edi chesina పర్ఫెక్షన్ తో చేస్తారు అని మీ చుట్టుపక్కల చాలా మంది చెప్పారు but meeru when you were crowned as miss india i think you were hardly 19 or 20 yeah 21 21 uh meeru at that point of time asal uhincharu namrata ante oka beauty pageant lo nen contest chestanu inta bhari inta mandi manushullo inta competition lo nenu number 1 ga nilustanu ante at that age and point of time did you ever even realize or dream no i i definitely knew i wanted my mother wanted me to take part in that mm. and uh, it was her dream that you know i should do it and um, i literally did it for her if you mm. if it was left to me i would say no because oh, i didn't i didn't uh. have the confidence to do it without support mm. and that's always very important in these kind of uh, situations mm. you need your family support you need your friends support you need to believe that yeah. that you're good and that only comes i think with uh, you know when you have friends and family supporting you mm. so i think without them i i couldn't have done it ante meeku eppudu meeku meeku anipiledu nen baaguntanu nen chuttanu andaru untaru nen guarantee ga i was a very i was a very laid back lazy um, <laughs> disinterested kind of uh, uh. person so i never thought i was uh, i had it in me to mm. to do that but with my family support my mother's support and my friends um i could i could actually yeah. get there 
బట్ దానికోసం చాలా కష్టపడాలి కదా నమ్మత ఓకే ఓకే మీరు చెయ్యాలి అంటే చేయటం ఏదో ఈరోజు చేసి రేపు వదలటం కాదు కదా మీ బాడీ కేర్ తీసుకోవాలి స్కిన్ కేర్ చేశాను అదే జాయిన్ అయిన తర్వాత మొత్తం చేశాను బట్ అదే జాయిన్ అవటానికి అదే పుష్ ఇవ్వటానికి ద రీజన్ ఈజ్ మై పేరెంట్స్ అండ్ మై ఫ్రెండ్స్ మిస్ ఇండియా కాంపిటీషన్ అప్పుడు మిమ్మల్ని క్వశ్చన్స్ అడిగారు మీకు గుర్తుందా లేదు గుర్తులేదా మీరు చెప్పారు మిమ్మల్ని అడిగారు మీరు నమ్ముతారా ట్రెడిషన్స్ ని ఇంత మోడర్న్ గా ఉన్నారు సో డూ యూ బిలీవ్ అంటే నేను ఎలా ఉన్నా సరే నా ట్రెడిషన్స్ ని నేను వదలను నా నా కల్చర్ నా ఫ్యామిలీ సిస్టము దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఐ లర్న్ ఫ్రమ్ మై పేరెంట్స్ అని సో ఆ ఏజ్ లో దట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ కాన్షియస్నెస్ మీకు అప్పటి నుంచే ఉండేదా నమ్మదు నో ఆల్వేస్ మై దట్స్ వాట్ ఐమ్ ట్రైంగ్ టు సే దట్ మై పేరెంట్స్ ఇన్ స్టిల్ ద వెరీ స్ట్రాంగ్ బిలీఫ్ సిస్టమ్ ఇన్ ఆర్ ఇన్ బోత్ ఆఫ్ అస్ మై సిస్టర్ అండ్ మీ సో దే గేవ్ అస్ ద ఫ్రీడమ్ బట్ అట్ ద సేమ్ టైమ్ వీ హ్యాడ్ సర్టన్ రూల్స్ అండ్ రెగ్యులేషన్స్ దట్ వీ హ్యాడ్ టు ఫాలో సో ఐ థింక్ దాట్ ఈస్ వాట్ మేక్స్ అస్ వాట్ వీ ఆర్ టుడే Mm. otherwise you see so many families with so many kids who go the wrong way who who don't have the right value system who don't have the right um beliefs mm. so uh, yeah i think i owe it to my family yeah, and yeah. my mother and father for i'm very grateful that you know they they brought us up in a certain way mm. and that's what i try to kind of you know inculcate in your kids inculcate in my kids నమ్మిత కమింగ్ టు మూవీస్ నేను విన్నది మీ ఫస్ట్ మూవీ ఇంకా రిలీజ్ అయ్యి కాలేదంట మీరు ఫస్ట్ ఏదైతే ఇన్నేళ్ళు అయిపోయింది ఇంకా రిలీజ్ రెడీ ఉందా లేదా అడగాలి అడగాలా ఓకే శబ్నం కపూర్ అని షీ వాజ్ మై ప్రొడ్యూసర్ అండ్ డైరెక్టర్ ఓకే అండ్ లవ్లీ లవ్లీ వెరీ స్వీట్ లేడీ అండ్ ఐ థింక్ వీ షార్ట్ అట్లీస్ట్ సెవెంటీ పర్సెంట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫిల్మ్ ఓ మొత్తం అవ్వలేదు ఇంకా షూటింగ్ అవ్వలేదు నేను అనుకుంటా Okay but uh, I really don't know what happened to that film but yeah. it was one of it was like we saw the rushes and me to send yenta cinema ever the selu ever it was uh, akshay kumar was the hero mm. and then they had sunil shetty also added to the cast many okay. years later <laughs> okay but uh, for some reason they didn't release it so ah. i don't know i don't know what happened but inga ready undi adi ready ga ఇంకో థర్టీ పర్సెంట్ మీరు ఇప్పుడు అదేదో పెళ్లి అయిపోయి పిల్లలు పుట్టి తర్వాత సెకండ్ ఉంటుంది కదా సెకండ్ డిస్కషన్ ఉంటుంది అక్షయ్ నేను కలిస్తే అదే దీని గురించి మనం యూనో వీ ఆల్వేస్ డిస్కస్ అండ్ లాఫ్ అబౌట్ ఇట్ దట్ యూ హ్యావ్ కిడ్స్ ఐ హ్యావ్ కిడ్స్ నా ఐ డోంట్ నో హౌ దట్ ఫిల్మ్ విల్ గెట్ ఓవర్ మీరు యాక్ట్ చేసిన ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ఆర్డ్ ఫిల్మ్స్ అనుకుంటా మొత్తం ఆన్ ద హోల్ హిందీ తెలుగు మలయాళం కన్నడ మొత్తం తీసుకుంటే ఒక పాతిక సినిమాలో చేసి ఉంటారు ఒక పక్కన గ్లామర్ రోల్స్ ఒక పక్కన వెరీ థాట్ ప్రొవోకింగ్ క్యారెక్టర్స్ లైక్ వాస్తవ్ అస్తిత్వ బ్రైడ్ అండ్ ప్రెజుడీస్ అంటే మీనింగ్ఫుల్ పర్ఫార్మెన్స్ ఓరియంటెడ్ సో ఐ వాంట్ టు సే సంథింగ్ అబౌట్ దట్ అంటే వై యూ డెన్స్ అంటే జనరల్ గా ఆ ఏజ్ లో ఉన్న యాక్ట్రెసెస్ if i liked to do it and i had the time to do it i would i would say yes hmm. so a lot of films i couldn't do because my dates were not there a lot of films i did because you know they were offered to me first okay so between all of that there was never any strategy or agenda to work hmm. my career in a certain way hmm. as i told you by the time i got seriously connected to my work and i thought i loved to act i met my and that was that was it yeah. but vastava and astitva ee rendu cinema lo asalu adbhutamaina scripting manchi concept and andulo mee roles rendittlo kuda i think for you vastava is very yeah, very very important very, very, it was a great film in fact post vastava is when i really started enjoying yeah. my work yeah you know as in i enjoyed the the process of of uh, acting I think I learned a lot from that film in terms of uh, technique of film making. Mm. So it was a very educative experience for okay. me. Okay. I did a few roles which would kind of, you know, uh, also give me that satisfaction yes. to to perform as opposed to doing a glamorous 
character with song and dance. Neeru, GMB Productions and Pitta, 2015, if I'm not wrong. And they started off with Sri Manthudu. Yes. Sri Manthudu, the Sarilir Nikavaru, Sarkaru Varipata. I think now the fifth film of Mahesh is coming. But Neeru, I want to observe that you have to collaborate with every cinema. You have to collaborate with other producers. You have to single produce. Is there any reason behind it? No, there's no reason as such because they are mainly films that uh, Mahesh does. Mm. Major was our first uh, outside, uh, like a, a film with, with another yeah. person who's yeah. not from the family. Correct. Uh, which is Shesh. And um, we collaborated for Major. Major was to be our own production. Mm. But we collaborated with Sony particularly because we wanted a platform for the Hindi delivery. Hmm. For the Hindi release. Okay, okay. So, uh, that was a very um, conscious decision to have Sony on board. Hmm. Uh, but there was no other reason. Uh, but in the cinema, kuda, even Mahesh Bhavgar cinema, you can see it. Because Mahesh always... Scale is, the no, yeah, the scale is very yeah. huge. And uh, we always have a producer who is producing uh, Mahesh's hmm. film. Hmm. So, it's only... Uh, that's the only correct way we think uh, makes... Business sense. Okay, you know? okay, okay. Me, me contribution alone to the Namrata because say she interviews so Chala Sandar Bhalo Chipper. This Namrata is very particular. She's a perfectionist. I would have said, Mama went up a day. Four of me the four is the in the other in the other. No, no, I, I think uh, the credit for major goes to Shashi and Shesh, mm. and uh, they're the two main pillars of uh, you know of the film's success. Yeah. And of course, to Anurag and Sharad yeah. who have A plus S, there was their production house. So, we didn't, honestly, GMB as a production house only supported them um, on, all, on, on all levels um, to do creatively yeah. what they could yeah. in, in the best way possible. Mm. As a team, we worked brilliantly together. Mm. Um, and yeah, and I think um, I'm so happy that yes, uh, yes. after seeing the success of Major, um, I'm glad we took that decision. Yeah, I know. But Major's success, when I got my contribution, Chala Undani Sesh, I put up to her. And even Mahesh Babu Garuda, I got a press meet logic. I said, Nah, Kasalu, I don't even know what's happening. Yeah. It's completely Namrathan. So, how was it, Namrata? Helming no, a project? It was, it taking was, um, it was it's, it's a great, it's a great interest to me to work from behind the camera for a change. Mm. And I think I enjoy, um, you know, putting together a film or, or you know, just, uh, you know, the whole back end yeah. um, work that is there. I, I enjoy doing that. Mm. And I think uh, Major was a great experience for us. Um, it was a learning experience for us on many levels. Yeah. It was um, eye-opener on many levels. It was all in all, we we learned a lot to mm. make better, you know, to, <coughs> to make another better film, to make an even uh, maybe, uh, you know, like for us, Major is, is I'm so glad that it's like a classic yeah. we made. Yeah. And it's a library film, which we'll always, GMB will be proud of. Very that we... Um, we were a part of that film. GMB's aim is to make good cinema, you know, enjoyable cinema, entertaining cinema. So we are happy with the films we are making. Mm. Um, we also look forward to doing films. Um, it's not like we just want to make message oriented films or just make um, any film with just a message or, you know, just. Uh, we want to make films that entertain the audience on various levels. Then, then it could be, um, it could also be, you know, a film like Major. I mean, we're not genre specific. Mm, mm, we we would mm. make anything that enthralls, entertains, and um, the audience. Okay. So, Motta Madhu Desari oka bite actor to chase her. Going forward, in Kachala Rabo Tanaya Atla GMB Productions, lo, kotta actors ni, kotta yeah, we, like I've said before, we have zero strategy. There mm. is no strategy. Ours is not GMB, is not a factory. GMB will make films where we think we love the script, we want to make it, we make it. Mm. It's not like I have to keep my company running because of films. So, 
you know we work on mahesh's films as it is mm. we just need to work on um films that we like and i think we're going to do that with uh, if there's a great story we'll pick it up okay if there if if there's nothing that that interests us we won't coming to your marriage మహేష్ బాబుతో మ్యారేజ్ అసలు ఆ రోజుల్లో టూ థౌజండ్ వన్ నుంచే చాలా మందికి ఏదో జరుగుతుంది అసలు వీళ్ళిద్దరు పెళ్లి చేసుకుంటారు అని అందరూ అనుకుంటున్నారు లేదు మీరు బయట పట్టలేదు కానీ జనాలు మాత్రం నో సంథింగ్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ బిట్వీన్ దెమ్ వాళ్ళిద్దరు పెళ్లి చేసుకుంటారు ఎప్పటికో అని అనుకున్నారు మీరు చాలా అంటే ఒక్కటి నమ్రత జనరల్గా వెన్ యూర్ ఎట్ యువర్ పీక్ ఆఫ్ యర్ కెరియర్ కొంచెం కొన్ని కొన్ని పోస్ట్ పోన్ చేయాలనుకుంటాం అంటే పెళ్ళి అవ్వచ్చు లేకపోతే ఇంకేదన్నా అవ్వచ్చు లైఫ్లో ప్రెగ్నెన్సీస్ వాట్ ఎవర్ బట్ మీరు చెప్పినట్టు మీరు పీక్లో ఉన్నారు కెరియర్లో ఆ టైంలో అంటే మీకు అప్పుడే మంచి సినిమాలు వస్తున్నాయి అన్ని రైట్ ప్లేస్లో పడుతున్నాయి కరెక్ట్గా ఆ టైంలో మీరు సడన్గా అనౌన్స్ చేసేసరికి చాలామంది ఆనందపడ్డారు మహేష్ బాబు మీరు పెళ్ళి చేసుకుంటున్నారని కానీ మీ ఫ్యాన్స్ కొంతమంది ఐ హ్యావ్ జీరో రిగ్రెట్స్ లైక్ ఫర్ మీ ఐ హెవర్ ప్లాన్డ్ ఎనీథింగ్ right from the beginning from mm. the time i finished school like what i wanted to do i i wasn't sure okay so um i got a chance to model then i you know i was successful doing that i did that then from that the next step was acting got into movies where i met mahesh and the whole our relationship culminated into marriage and i think that was the most beautiful part of my journey yeah i don't think anything would have matched come closer to time mm. so uh, you know i i didn't think films were important i didn't think uh, career was important i didn't think at the time i just thought that i want to be married to this man mm. and and you know i want to start a family and and i think i did just that yeah. and and you know i have so <laughs> So, yeah. but namrata do you remember actually how you met mahesh what happened how we did, did a, that... we did a film right so Vamsi everybody Chesa, knows yeah. so apru yeah. kalsan mm. and um, i think around that time we had a long schedule in new zealand for mm-hmm. almost 52 days and that's when we got to know each other better okay and um, after that we started seeing each other and mm. then we dated for a while and i think that's when we both realized we would like to be married and you know we want to spend the rest of our life together and, mm. and yeah and that that was pretty much how it all but meeru almost 3 4 years wait chesaru families opkodaniki ante mee family vaalla family no he also had he had just started his career so mm-hmm. he wanted to figure things out for himself i had to finish all my pending assignments mm-hmm. so for all that it would have taken 2 3 years okay so it is a so it was, a, it was a very conscious okay um i think decision from both our ends mm. marriage ainappan nunchi ippudu varaku 17 yearlu namrata 17 years of married life that's yeah that's that's a long time huh? yeah. when you think about it right field is so attractive glamour vulnerabilities you know losing easily itlantivi chaala untai chuttupakkala attractions and you know success so many things money you know i mean there are so many things that go across chuttu pakkala chaala jarugutu untai itlanti situations ni meer ela handle cheyagar gar iddaru and how did you cope up with all these i think i always say this to i say to everybody hmm. that you have to be very very uh, strong in your mind hmm. and as two people in a relationship your the husband and the wife you always have to be uh, trusting each other trust is very very important in a marriage mm. especially here i don't think especially here also is wrong to say because mm. i think it's in every marriage especially for us as as a couple we were best friends before we got married yeah so um, there's nothing mahesh hides from me and there's nothing i hide from mahesh pretty much mm. i mean if you uh, go to see so there's there's no room for error there's no room for doubt there's no room for mistrust mm. so you anni you know if if you have it in the right balance i think you'll make a good marriage and that's what's kept our marriage um i would say yeah you know strong yeah and and of course when you have your children it's um, you know a lot of them think ki 
oh now yeah this children yeah. and this and that so you know you take it very easy you kind of make it very um you take it for granted your marriage is a lot also mm-hmm. because of the time that you then that's gone in to a marriage i think that is also wrong you may not have the same um that that kind of a feeling when you right. get married right. but it it evolves into a more stronger you know into a more uh, tighter uh, space where uh, where your partner is really uh, important on many other levels mm. yeah and i think that's what's uh, so special about mahesh and me mm. that um, i think we trust each other blindly yeah. like he can be anywhere and i don't need to call him 10 times i don't call him okay oh, what are you doing where are you who are you with like all that doesn't happen in our uh, in my marriage for i mean you know it Wonderful. doesn't happen and um, similarly if i am somewhere else he won't call 10 times to find out where i am what i'm doing but but it's just that we never in that space also yeah. like we're always with each other i've never felt the need to go and spend yeah in a lot of marriages a lot of them spend a lot of time away mm. in our marriage somehow we don't see the need to do that okay so every marriage is different you know okay. you can't really um, i don't have the mantra for a right mm. marriage mm. but but me mantra idi <laughs> this is mine this is my mantra every day i think you need to work on your marriage ante prati roju of, of course marriage I'm, i'm i that's what i'm saying marriage is not a bed of roses mm. marriage is not a fairy tale marriage is not something that you think uh, oh you know all your troubles will end once you're married you have to work on it every day in different ways yeah it's on an emotional level one day is on a physical level one day is on a social level one day is on there are various mm. uh, various departments that that marriage needs working on but you should never take it for granted you should never mm. take any relationship for granted i think even your friends even your children and your expectation should not be too much that's always how i look at it like if you mm. have zero expectation you're the happiest mm. on many levels but in case eppudaina nee madhyalo edana chinna chitaka arguments fights alanti vaste ee issues med ekkuva vastuntayi children and every marriage was a common factor <laughs> it's Children. about it's about kids yeah. if you ask me because uh, the kids will go to mahesh mm. to to get what they want yeah. and i am the one who's saying no so that's yeah. that's the deal breaker yes so then apu enti how do you handle it no so then we come to a conclusion and then mm. we say okay if you get this you don't get this you get this you don't get this and okay. then yeah that's how it is but parenting anadi at the end of the day is very crucial ante general ga any marriage lo iddaru pillalni penchalante kevalam amma meede kaadu nanna contribution ku undali antaru but nanna is very busy no no but he is that's why that's what i want to ask yeah, how does he he's, make he's it he is a full on um, 100% dad hmm. um he may not be involved in studies or okay. he may not be involved in um what classes they're doing or you know their daily activities per se but i think he's one of the most uh, most hands on father fathers that i have uh, come across mm-hmm. and um, he does everything that needs to be done okay. by a father if there is a push comes to shove situation where you know i am not able to uh, manage then he steps in hmm. and um, yeah so you know it's it's uh, i think it's incredible how he he uh, he doesn't have the time when yeah. he's working but when he's not working he he's all home okay like he's 100% at home he's nowhere else he's okay. not like uh, constantly with friends or you know uh, doing other work at home at home he is just home so he has a specific routine and <coughs> that involves the kids mm. and then uh, we go like if he has time we we take off on you know holidays and then he that's that's the time he spends right. with us without any uh, paraphernalia of mm. you know paparazzi and people and, and you know where we can go happily we can walk on the streets we can go for a meal without Yes. Being 
సోయ ఒక లో ఫేజ్ అన్నది ప్రతి ఒక్కళ్ళ జీవితంలో ఉంటుంది మ్యారేజ్ బిఫోర్ అవ్వచ్చు ఇన్ ద మ్యారేజ్ అవ్వచ్చు వాట్ ఎవర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆ లో ఫేజెస్ని ఎట్లా హ్యాండిల్ చేస్తారు అంటే ఇట్ కుడ్ బి మూవీ ఫెయిల్యూర్ ఇట్ కుడ్ బి సిరీ సిరీస్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్లాప్స్ ఐ థింక్ దట్స్ వై ద ఫ్యామిలీ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ అండి ఐ థింక్ వెన్ యూర్ దే ఫర్ ఈచ్ అదర్ ఇన్ దీస్ టైమ్స్ అండ్ యూర్ you know you know you have someone to fall back on i think the the grief becomes easier mm. it becomes um, i'm not saying the pain goes away but it becomes less yeah and um, you need to have that moral support from your loved ones and i think we we both stand there for each other when i lost my parents he was there like a rock for me so uh, and gautam was just a year old yeah then nainama passed away at that time so we we were dealing we dealt i think we dealt with it very beautifully because i had him and he had me yeah. and um gautam was there so you know there was just love all around and i think that's very important yeah namrata mahesh ni pelli cheskune time ki meeru cinema lu maane sir అది కాన్షియస్ డెసిషన్ ఇద్దరు కలిసి తీసుకున్నారా లేకపోతే మీరే మానేద్దాం అనుకున్నారు ఏంటి రీజన్ బికాస్ మహేష్ వాజ్ వెరీ క్లియర్ అండి దట్ హీ వాంటెడ్ అ నాన్ వర్కింగ్ వైఫ్ ఓకే బికాస్ హీ ఫిలిమ్స్ అని కాదు ఎక్కడైనా ఎనీవే వాజ్ వర్కింగ్ సమ్ ఇన్ సమ్ ఆఫీస్ యూ వుడ్ హోల్డ్ మీ టు లీవ్ దర్టన్ థింగ్స్ వీ హ్యాడ్ ఫర్ ఈచ్ అదర్ లైక్ ఐ వాజ్ వెరీ క్లియర్ దట్ హీ విల్ యూ నో వీ విల్ లివ్ first in a flat because i had a i was from bombay and i wasn't sure how i'd fit hmm. into these bungalows because they're all i used to get scared to stay in big houses hmm. so he moved into a flat with me hmm. so that was my condition i said if i'm going to come to hyderabad i okay. want to live in a flat i don't uh. want to live in a house because you know i'm a little nervous so hmm. the space if there are people in the building i'm happy so he was like yeah sure of course and then we moved into our first apartment okay similarly he was clear he didn't want me to work so which is why also we took some time i had okay. to finish shooting so if you if you really know when we got married i had i i mm. had no work right right so i had finished all my pending assignments i wrapped it all up and and that was it so we we were clear there was a lot of clarity going uh, mm. you know getting together we we knew we wanted to have uh, you know kids soon okay sitara was not planned that's okay. why it took so long okay, okay. so okay. she was an unplanned baby <laughs> <laughs> but now she's planning her career <laughs> yeah she's uh, i just think my life would have been incomplete yeah, without her exactly when i think about it mm. and um, she is the light of our family like literally for gautam for mahesh for me but namrata general ga mano teeskuna decisions appudu manaku bhale ga untunda ha correct decision teeskuna anukuntam konni ella tarata okko sari are let me rethink an anipistadi and did you ever think let me once again act or you know never not for a second ippudu kuda meeku ippudane vaana manchi offer osu manchi role osthe kuda cheyira ఏం అస్సలు లేదు అవునా అంటే ఐ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ ద పేషెన్స్ ఓకే ప్రేమ ఐ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ ద పేషెన్స్ టు లీవ్ మై ఫ్యామిలీ అండ్ గో అండ్ సిట్ ఆన్ అ సెట్ అంటే ఐ ఎంజాయ్ మహేష్ షూటింగ్ ఐ ఎంజాయ్ గోయింగ్ అండ్ సిటింగ్ అండ్ యూ నో మింగ్లింగ్ విత్ ద యూనిట్ చెకింగ్ ఓకే ఇఫ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్స్ ఓకే అండ్ యూ నో ఇట్స్ ఆల్ వర్కింగ్ అండ్ ఐ ఎంజాయ్ దాట్ పోర్షన్ నా మోర్ దెన్ ఫేసింగ్ అ కెమెరా అండ్ బీయింగ్ యూ నో రెడీ టు ఫేస్ ద డే ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ ద కెమెరా ఐమ్ హ్యాపీ టు డూ ఇట్ బిహైండ్ ద క్యామెరా అంటే ఈ మధ్యలో ఈ పదిహేడేళ్ళలో ఎప్పుడు మీకు ఆఫర్ రాలేదా ఎవరు అడగలేదా మిమ్మల్ని అడిగారా చాలా మంచిగా చెప్పేసారా నో అని అదే ఐ డోంట్ ఎంటర్టైన్ ఇట్ ఐ జస్ట్ సీ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఓకే ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ నార్మలీ ఒక ఒక అమ్మాయి ఒక ఇంట్లోకి వెళ్తుంది అంటే ఆ అమ్మాయి చాలా డ్రీమ్స్ ఆస్పిరేషన్స్తో ఒక ఎక్స్పెక్టేషన్స్తో వెళ్తుంది ఒక ఇంట్లోకి అత్తగారి ఇంటి వెళ్తే and as i said you know the cultures is different the language is different everything is different here uh, how did you cope up initially namrata was it easy was it difficult it was actually very very easy the switch hmm. because i was here before for four years i was in and out of hyderabad hmm. so i had made my friends i had met his family so okay it's not like 
it was all suddenly I got married and came to a new place. Yeah, so for yeah. four years I was in and out of Hyderabad. So mm. I was very familiar with with Hyderabad as such. It was it was very smooth for me. Mm. Purely because it just felt like an extension of my holiday. Mm. You know, and uh, my parents used to come and go. Then I used to go to Bombay. And then, of course, in that one year, my father and mother fell sick and Yanni uh, Ayn, but uh, it was very, very smooth. And his family welcomed me completely. And they, there was no doubt there. Above all of it, hmm. Mahesh was so supportive in everything. Like if I was missing home, I would go to Bombay. I would hmm. just go and come. That all was, uh, he was very, very supportive. Yeah. Mahesh is because a strong pillar of support, Namrata. So how do you take this, Namrata? No, no, I think as I said, see, it's not just me, it's also him. So you can't clap with a one hand, right? Exactly. You need two hands to clap. When you give, you get, and when you get, you give. Hmm. So when you have both that working in um, in the right balance. I think you complement each other. Mm. And I think that's what Mahesh and me do. We complement each other. I don't think it's just me. I don't think it's just him. I think it's both of us. Okay, busy, busy pattern of lifestyle ninchi. Suddenly Hyderabad Rautamo. Ikara he's so busy with his work. Ipana suddenga ante ok sudden ok boredom. No, but it didn't, we didn't have that time. To, mm. I didn't have the time to get bored because I remember when we got married, he was shooting for Atadu. Yep. Yeah. For climax mm. or something. Mm. So I used to go to the shoot and, you know, like I used to, uh, he used to come home. Then we used to hang out till late and we used to have like, you know, we used to meet up with friends and so the, nothing changed. Okay. Even okay. after I was from the time I was dating him till I got married. So it was very the transition was very smooth hmm. so he never let me suddenly feel that oh okay, you've okay. left everything and come so that's very important for a girl yeah, i think when nice. she leaves her little uh, comfort space and comes to a new space i hmm. think it's very important that your husband uh, gives you that little cushioning hmm. you know which which mahesh did very beautifully very hmm. effortlessly i would say hmm. so i never felt it until hmm. Um, in fact, I, you know, my mom was saying, what is this? You've gone married and you've gone and you're not coming for Diwali. Yeah, I said, no, no, I'm going to do Diwali here. <laughs> you should be saying, Amma, I want to come for Diwali. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, they're not letting me go. You're <laughs> not, you're not interested in coming. So I okay. remember that one incident. Hmm. Because we got married in Feb and Diwali was like yes, now. November. So. Ponu Ponu me chala busy ayaru. Like, you know, chala corporate social responsibility activities. Then, you know, Buripalam adoption. Mahesh Babu uh, charity foundation. Even me chest naru. But initial days, and day pillal put in a pudu, in clone at all. You are a pakka proper homemaker. Namrata Shirodkarante, she is Mahesh Babu's wife, Sitara and Gautam's mother. She is a proper homemaker. So, how was that phase, Namrata? Uh, ante, uh, chala, any was, woman kada chala beautiful guntari. but how was it for you no it was beautiful there's no two ways about it there was a lot of, it was a lot of learning for me hmm. and how to keep a house on your own like my mother ma used yeah. to do everything so hmm. you don't really respect or give importance to what your mother does until hmm. you start doing it very true you know uh, you always take your parents for granted and you always feel, Ki, Are, what is this? What is that? And, you know, until you take yeah. that responsibility and then you say, oh, God, Ma used to do it like this, you know, and I want to be better at it. Mm. So I think it's very important to a acknowledge your parents, mm. give uh, respect them, love them, give them all that you can when they're there with you. And then suddenly when they're gone, you think they're not there, you know, and then I wish I had done this. Yeah. But coming back to what you asked me, I think it was a learning experience for me to how to run a house, mm. how to run a kitchen. I don't cook, so I had to get the right cook. So You don't cook at all? I don't know how to cook. Asalu. Auntie, tea, I can coffee, make no. tea, coffee, eggs, omelet. <laughs> eggs, omelet, Maggi <laughs> noodles. Very good. Mama <laughs> kochana so, okay. Adi, that was one thing that I always feel I should have known, okay. learned how to cook, which mm. I didn't. 
So being a mother, being a wife, running a home. Mm. So they're all different verticals of right. one person. Right. You know, and and since we live by ourselves, like we mm. don't have a joint family system. True. So it was all, Mahesh was busy working. Gautam was one year old. Who's going to run it? Correct. My parents are not going to come from Bombay to run it. So Mahesh's parents uh, were too busy themselves to, you know, uh, yeah. contribute to anything. So between between that, I always felt that, uh, you know, I learned a lot and I'm very grateful. Mm. Um, my mom used to be like one phone call away. Okay, now I need this, now I need that. And, you know, so... So yeah, my friends here, yeah. um, Mahesh's family, his sisters, all of them, like they 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 were all very instrumental in me setting up mm. my base. Mm. And um, I'm very grateful to to all of them who've contributed in any small way also mm -hmm. uh, to making my life what it is. Yeah. You know, in a different city. But normally, general ga a woman marriage ches kuna tarvata. Then a mottham focus husbandu, pillalu, family. And then the working woman anna sare kuncho. Then a then a ante then a kind of kind of operation maripo thundi. She'll focus more on her uh, her family, her husband, her kids, and everything. Me vision logo da alaghe jari kindi. Yepure na did you lose on you namrata? Ante me care me this kotho. Me health avachu. Me mental uh, health avachu. That Mahesh takes care of. <laughs> if, if I'm forgetting myself, yeah. then somewhere he'll say, come on, mm. I think it's time for us to go to a spa. It's time for us to, uh, you know, take a break. So my holidays are my rejuvenation, yeah, to be yeah. honest. Mm. I mean, the holidays that he takes us on or we go are... Uh, is is where I rejuvenate myself. And manalo oka quality kuda untundi namrata. Mana vante as a woman, mana general ge intante we we want to be perfectionist and we want to do everything all by ourselves. Mana delegation anna the namo. No no no. I've learned the hard way. Hard process. I used to do that. Yeah. Now I delegate. Okay. Now I'm I'm like enough is enough. Because <laughs> no, ante a process lo man health effect out thundi manam pattich ko mu nidra sari ga po mu tenantam sari ga tenam mu so these are all like you know yeah. it's a mess. But it's it it happens and I think it's happened to me also at a point where you know you're so busy living that mm. uh, making it right for mm. everyone that you forget you you forget what you're doing you forget what you want to do. Yeah. But in my case, I think Mahesh is like a like my knight in shining armor who always pulls me back every time you know he feels i'm overloaded with yeah. work and he tells me to take a step back mm -hmm. and that's when i you know stop and he's always he's very knowing of of yeah. of that like he sees me um there are times when i'm exhausted with with the, the daily routines correct and then he'll be like okay you know i think we should just uh, you need to bear backtrack and bite a juice while I can't you're like your life is a bed of roses mm. you're like your life mm. is very very comfortable you don't have any issues and kunta and to me battles media fight chest and chala mandri tell you for example Gautam's birth I know what you went through at that point of time up and it's a miracle consciousness which in that you know chinna pill job will know all in my support chayali save chayali so can you just tell me how was the period and that phase Frankly, Prema, that was a very, very uh, horrific period mm. in, in our lives. I had gone for a checkup okay. for my last, I think, seven month checkup. So it was not even my last checkup. Mm. And uh, as everyone knows, they do these ultrasounds right. and things like that. So they realized that in that checkup, Gautam's cord was around his neck okay. for some reason and he was not able to breathe. Hmm. So my doctor said, uh, "I'm so sorry. We we are not getting the heartbeat is missing. So it's it's not the cord is not going to move. Hmm. So we have to take her in." Mahesh was shooting in Film City. Luckily, he was in town, so he was in hmm. Film City. So they called him, and uh, my parents flew in. Luckily, so that also was uh, yeah. you know uh, they were from Bombay. They had to come, so it was not so far. So they said we'll take her in today at ten o'clock. So they gave, I had gone at six o'clock. So literally they gave me two hours, do whatever I had to do. Mm. And um, 
when Gautam was born, he was 1.46 kilos. So, he was so small. This much. He was okay. so small. Hmm. Like literally on my palm. And, um, you know, they, they counseled Mahesh because I was not in a state to be counseled. So, they counseled Mahesh saying, you know, we're not sure. We, um, but we are going to try our best. And um, in that time, 17 years ago, technology was much less yeah. than what it is now. So, and our doctors at Rainbow and uh, Swapna Nursing Home, they both worked. I mean, they were so, so good as our doctors. And, and you know, they, they literally, today I feel um, Gautam being alive mm. is purely because of them. And their, uh, you know, precision mm. with what should be done and how it should be done. And it is the skill of a doctor right. at the end. In these kind of cases, you never know what you are faced with and how you will uh, mm. work on that situation. So, um, so yeah, he was he was like he was so small, and then we had to uh, keep him in the incubator for almost three weeks. Then, when I got him home, we had a benchmark. Like every day, he had to have forty grams of milk. Mm. Um, he had to put on, I think, 10 grams a day. Oh. So, if that also doesn't happen, means again, it's danger. Like a red, he's in the red. So, all these things. So, for us, it was like we used to literally pray in the night before sleeping that, okay, tomorrow when I weigh him, he should be 10 grams more. And today is like a yeah, beast. I know. Every family must be having a story to tell. Correct. And this is, this is ours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before that, I didn't know about kids. I didn't. Mm. You, you don't. I feel until you're faced with the situation, yeah. you don't see the what is in front of you. True. You know. Mm. So, after that, Ventane started. Sir, Mahesh Babu Foundation. Ventane, my little hearts, cause my little children, my little girls, help. No, no, no. That we've been doing from before. Okay, okay. Ah, okay. okay. Lunchi, whenever there was anyone in trouble or something, we used to do it. Today, we've given a name to it. Organ organized, that, organized, yeah. organized, more okay. organized. Okay. And earlier, we used to do it as in when we knew someone or someone came to us. So. Mm. Now it is more streamlined. It is more procedural. Okay. It is more, um, you know, there is a a system in place which which can officially take on more kids. Mm. You know, we don't need to find them. Okay. Or they don't need to find us. They can just uh, approach the foundation. Um, you know, once they clear certain um, grounds of mm. of you know, like if they tick the right boxes. Okay. So, how does this work? I want to know about Mahesh Babu Foundation. See, the foundation is very clear uh, how it works. It mm. works on um, for heart. Okay. If there are any uh, critically ill patients. Anybody? No, no, no. For kids only. Any, only kids? No, it's okay, only congenital kids. heart yeah, disease. It's only congenital heart mm. disease. Mm. If they have a, a heart disease that can be cured, mm. let's say there is a chance, mm. they must come to us. Like there is the foundation numbers are there. Okay. They should call the foundation number and the foundation can um, look into their case. They will review the case because there's such a long waiting list. Mm -hmm. Like you can't do uh, already. Priority basis. Priority basis. Who needs attention first? Mm. Based on that, um, we have a team gives their paperwork into the working doctors of we work with two hospitals one okay. is the rainbow uh, hospital in hyderabad and we work with um, andhra hospital in vijayawal so who is fit to go where you know the the doctors will decide depending on the criticalness of the case okay so there is a simple number of the foundation so anybody who doesn't have money, Prima, hmm. mainly. Hmm. People who have money don't need to come to yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. You know, people who are below the poverty line, hmm. who can't literally, who don't have uh, two mouths to feed hmm. in their house and they have a problem with their kids, is where we come in. I think Mahesh Babu Foundation is the first time. Totally, you have to do it. You have to do it. 
I think we've uh, helped more than two thousand plus children. Uh, mm. You know, with with we do medical camps in uh, Siddhapuram and in Burepalam. We made a school for them uh, in uh, Siddhapuram. Little little things we tried to do that before the foundation came came uh, mm. into existence. Mm. The foundation is a very new entity which okay. we just put together. Mm. to kind of uh, organize and streamline uh, the way it was happening before yeah yeah you yeah. know and um, <coughs> i think th- more people can get help when there is an order yeah anyone who wants to make a donation mm-hmm. can have the website there and uh, you know sometimes you feel you want to give somebody who's helping the right people now okay. mahesh and me can do only so much true um and always when there is a, a cumulative mm. um, effort and help we can do much more sri mantra cinema tarvata meeka thought ochinda adopting villages ani anta munde anukunnara aa society ki help cheyali lekapothe law ekkipothu ala kaadandi but uh, to be honest uh, that thought yeah. stemmed from sri mantra mm. and even that is a very gratifying and satisfying uh, experience i have had when you go to the villages you know you give them uh, every year we give them some school books and we give them you know basic school requirements and they become so happy and you know we try in a little way to to make it a livable life Mm. you know uh, sidapuram in some parts didn't have water tanks so we we kind of installed water tanks then we put toilets in in some of in one of the spaces so now each house in in mm. sidapuram has a toilet so um, all these little little things it it's very gratifying yeah. when you see uh, you're raising their standard of living we are blessed today we mm. uh, god has been kind to us we we have enough and uh, we try to do what we can in our own way but it's never enough right, right so like if you have five more people who can probably uh, work with us mm. with the same mindset mm. i think because we are on a place where we have a platform that we can help we can help pe- more people correct you know uh, right. what i mean like like if you want to help with 100 rupees your 100 rupees won't do anything to anyone but if your 100 rupees is where there is much more hmm. that 100 rupees will will see its value ipudu meeru sampadinche dantlo nunchi konja percentage indulo pedtara corpus yeah, fund lekapothe meeru funds donations kudu teeskuntara itla how does we do a lot from our end also okay. a lot of mahesh's earnings go into um, charity hmm. a lot of it hmm. and of course we uh, we receive donations from mm. many people like uh, you know people who corporates and yeah yeah a lot of them they donate to our foundation to uh, to see us do a better job because mm. they don't know how to do it right right so they rather give us uh, a donation and see us do it mm. as opposed to just giving it to someone else where sometimes it may not reach the right source mm. namrata today when you sit ఒక స్కూల్ గర్ల్ నుంచి కాలేజ్ గర్ల్ నుంచి ఒక కెరియర్ ఉమెన్ నుంచి ఒక హోమ్ మేకర్ నుంచి ఈరోజు ఈ స్థితిలో ఉన్నారు ఇద్దరు బ్యూటిఫుల్ పిల్లల తల్లి వాళ్ళ కెరియర్ ఫ్రేమ్ చేసే టైం వచ్చేసింది సితారాని మంచిగా గ్రూమ్ చేస్తున్నారు షీఈస్ లర్నింగ్ కూచిపూడి షీఈస్ లర్నింగ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ అదర్ డాన్సర్స్ సింగింగ్ పాటలు మాటలు ఆద్యాన్ సితారా ఛానల్ ఈజ్ ఫెంటాస్టిక్ సో యునో దట్ గర్ల్ హ్యాస్ సంథింగ్ ఇన్ హర్ అమ్మాయి అసలు అంత చిన్న వయసులో she she is a very very uh, talented girl um she is a very sharp she is very clever in her studies so she's um, i think she's she's got pretty much she's in uh, she's got it all you mm, know i know me thare jeans chala strong vache sai sitara ki asalu oka 7 8 year old ammai 8 9 year anukunta she is 10 today ipu 10 ne oka 7 years appudu frozen ki dubbing cheppindi అప్పుడు మీ ఇద్దరు ఒక ఇంటర్వ్యూ చేశారు ఒక మూడు నాలుగు నిమిషాలు ఇంటర్వ్యూ కదా ఇంటరాక్షన్ ఇద్దరు కూర్చొని అసలు ఏం మాట్లాడుతుంది అమ్మాయి అసలు అసలు ఆ మాట ఆ భాష తీరు ఎంత క్లారిటీ ఆఫ్ థాట్ ఎట్ దాట్ ఏజ్ 
when i saw her for um, that penny shooting chesam mm. kada mm. appudu uh, nenu okay cheppan cheppanu chestundani okay cheppin tarvata naaku koncham oka oka bhayam laga vachesindi okay. are you know will she i've said yes to the producers but will she be able to manage any because it's a whole day and we've never pushed her to do anything which is um, not comfortable for her mm. so mahesh me always like she's always done whatever you see of her is only her okay it's not us there's no uh, plan or again like there's no strategy right. behind right. Uh, what she does at that time we you know i got a little nervous ki mm. okay shooting two days no undi nenu okay cheppanu suppose she doesn't wake up suppose she doesn't go so, suddenly she says i i can't do it so what should <laughs> i do i cannot tell you her discipline on set her interest to do that and to last the whole day mm. for 8 hours like actually 6 i i should say because after 5 o'clock she got bored okay <laughs> and then she was like okay amma when can we go when can we go <laughs> they start time but it was over pretty much uh. i think she has that in her to mm. uh, to be an actor right right but as i said i don't know what my kids want to yeah. do and i don't want to push them and uh, if if it works out for her god bless where they and mm. even for gautam i think but idru ela untaru namrata general ga ante chadulu ela untaru extra curricular activities they are very good gautam is a, a decent student mm. he does well he's very uh, even his temperament is just like mahesh's so mm-hmm. very very patient very he's a good boy he's um he's very polite he's very uh, acknowledging of of um, mm. of people and he's very kind he's very grounded they're good kids i think but mm. every mother says that yeah. but yeah i think they're good <laughs> i think sitara is more energetic sitara is very vibrant she's <laughs> she's very uh, you know she's all over the place mm. she's uh, very loving mm. she's very very physically uh, connected with with yeah. uh, us um dodam's very shy that's how are the women in your family what are the learnings namrata i just think as a woman uh, prema i've grown up with my mother mm. my grandmother who are very very strong yeah, personalities yeah. and my mother single handedly took care of all of us that's also very commendable because she made chilpa and me reach a certain space mm. with all her hard work and i've seen her do that as as a mother uh, growing up when i came here i thought mahesh's granny was a very strong force in mm. in all their lives and all the siblings life mm. and when she passed away you know i i just realized that they were all so connected to her because of how strong she was bringing them all up mm. and um, i just think that it's very important to know that you know you have to be strong as a woman but not to a point where you know you're just trying to keep that image yes yes, yes. you have to be strong but at the same time you have to have a little bit of you mm. which is vulnerable so as so as to see life in its real form mm. otherwise as you said you're constantly doing things just to to prove that you prove that yeah, you are strong i got it you have to have that little space where you are emotionally mm. real you know you forget that that you also have feelings you mm. forget that you are also someone who can cry or laugh or you know you need to have your individuality along with your uh, strength along with with the family that you're living with you you need to strike a balance i mm. think that's really really important to uh, you know to keep that um, going what is a style statement amrita ante nen rendu rakalaga mimmalni chusanu instagram lo chaala photos pedutuntaru meer chaala ante very normal days photos kuda ala normal ga pettestu untaru you don't care about what people think <laughs> so that i don't question. know that if that's a good thing or a bad thing it's a good Bema. thing it's a good thing okay ante chaala mandi conscious ayipotharu mo nenu oka celebrity ni kada lekapothe celebrity wife ni kada lekapothe nenu particular standards lo undali ani anukuntaru 
సో మీరు అవన్నీ పట్టించుకోకుండా మీకు ఎలా అనిపిస్తే అలా ఉంటారు సో అసలు మీ స్టైల్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఏంటి మీ ఫ్యాషన్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఏంటి వాట్ డూ యూ థింక్ అబౌట్ ఫ్యాషన్ ఐ థింక్ ఫ్యాషన్ ఈజ్ వెరీ సబ్జెక్టివ్ ఇట్స్ వెరీ రిలేటివ్ ఇట్స్ వెరీ పర్సనల్ సో ఐ థింక్ టు ఈచ్ పర్సన్ ఫ్యాషన్ మీన్స్ అ డిఫరెంట్ థింగ్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ ఆస్క్ మీ ఐ థింక్ ఫ్యాషన్ ఫర్ మీ యూ జస్ట్ హ్యావ్ టు బి వెరీ కంఫర్టబుల్ హౌ ఎవర్ యూ ఆర్ ఫస్ట్లీ యూ హ్యావ్ టు బి కంఫర్టబుల్ విత్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ you have to be comfortable as your own person hmm. you know um, it's so important to have confidence for any human being today in this whole world of social media where you are being judged yeah just for uh, putting a picture or you're being judged for anything you do anything you say you're being judged you know and and to to either believe that or not i think that level Mm. headedness you have to have and you're not supposed to meer ipru chepper kada i don't care any yeah. how how i am yeah i don't because i'm not interested in you judging me i am putting that up okay because i think me much i like it mm. i like to take a picture where i am and with my kids and for me it's it's like a calendar that tomorrow i can sit back and say okay i did this ipru somewhere it's it's got a log hmm. so that's my way of looking at it i'm not expecting you to judge me okay you know and even if you judge you I don't care even if you judge i i'm sorry but what should i do with your judgment yeah you're not living with me no? <laughs> right right i i i mean if you're happy seeing it i'm very happy if you're hmm. not happy then what can i do hmm. i can't there's nothing i can do about yeah. it so that realization not hmm. a lot of people have ఐ ఫీల్ మీరు అసలు ప్రెషర్ తీసుకోరు నాకు రాలేదు ప్రెషర్ ఐ డోంట్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఇన్ టు ఫాలోవర్స్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఇన్ టు ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఇన్ టు వాట్ దే సే ఐ డోంట్ రీడ్ కామెంట్స్ ఐ డోంట్ ఐ డోంట్ బట్ దట్స్ జస్ట్ హౌ ఐ ఆమ్ అండ్ ఐ థింక్ దాట్ బ్యాలెన్స్ హ్యాస్ గివెన్ మీ అ లాట్ ఆఫ్ మెంటల్ పీస్ as in you know a, a lot of them i see are affected with exactly with with exactly. Um, how many likes they have wow. or um, oh god who's going to see this or who's not going to there's a lot of judgment right. going around with with social media at this point and i just think this is my way of dealing right. with it అంటే మీరు ప్రెషర్ తీసుకోకపోయినా ఒకసారి ప్రెషర్ పెట్టేశారు కదా నమ్రత అంటే మహేష్ బాబు the most good looking person he's so handsome and there's so many girls women ante chinna pillal degga nunchi pedda vaalu 60 70 yella vaalu valu kuda they're in awe of his looks yeah but Alan i respect oka mahesh that. babu i respect that i love them for it so me standard set chestaru kada aha mahesh babu etlu unnadu kada our wife kuda ilage eppudu manchi ready ayi undali etlo vadatha atla photo lu vetta kodani evaru opinions vaalu form cheskuntaru that is how you think hmm. you'll go home you'll forget about it right for you what is more important when you go home your husband your child your true uh, your uh, your circle you're doing that for a brief while and that is causing friction for me mm why yes have you ever thought of it like that total clarity yeah absolutely so I completely you agree. you have said that comment and you've gone home to your children your fan husband your wife your you forgotten what you wrote also possibly So why should I worry about what you wrote? If I keep that thought in my head, I really it doesn't affect me. Hmm. And it doesn't bother me to know that it's good or not good. I am happy posting that picture. I like it so I put it. Now you like it, you enjoy it. If you don't like it, go to another page. There are so many people. <laughs> wonderful but all said and done who is your designer is a corporate Na, designer ah lepada maarustu untara actually nadi only two people and who hmm. i wear um, regular ga okay. okate and tarun tahiliani hmm. he's one of my favorite favorite uh, designers are they chaala mundu nunchi okay na parichayam undi from my modeling days hmm. so we used to do shows for him and i just think his his uh, you know the way he crafts his clothes is so delicate and so uh, it's so elegant mm. and um, so this is of course tarun 
Oh, this also. Yeah. Okay. And uh, there is one is uh, who I recently, I mean, I, I just love their clothes. Is Falguni mm. Shane Peacock. Okay. Uh, they just opened a store in Hyderabad. Mm-hmm. And I wear a lot of their clothes also. And I just think uh, they're very, very, very comfortable. They're very easy to wear. They're mm-hmm. very glamorous. Mm. And uh, even their bridal collections are stunning. So I think between these two, these two. Uh, I'm okay. set. Nenu, me WhatsApp DP of Vajimandi. Instagram logo, me Ruchala Sandar Balu, Guruva Ralu, Shirdi Sai Baba, Ratham um. Puja, Lavi Baga Chestunter. Chala special locations logo, me Baba Puja Jestunter. The WhatsApp DP could a Shirdi Sai Baba on to me. What is this connection with Baba? My connection with uh, I'm a huge believer in God. Okay. It's it's not just about I believe all hmm. gods. I have no discrimination. Hmm. Um, I I believe all gods are one, and um, I think faith has to be. It's it's got no name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, um, faith has to be. It's universal. Mm. It's. Um, I don't think you can say this god is better and that god is not better. All gods are one. Mm. My main connect with Baba is purely because of my mother, and. Okay. Um, He's one person who, you know, my experiences with him have been uh, very, very uh, unique. Oh, no. And mm. uh, growing up. Okay. So he's just like, uh, for me, he's not, uh, he's just an additional part of my family. And, and I feel, you know, his his uh, presence in my house is, is very uh, uh, huge. Amazing. So... Uh, that's just uh, you know i just feel we are we're protected yeah. as it is by everybody by all gods are there to protect me and my family but i also think um you know he's he's his protection on my house and my family is is immense mm. and that's purely with with my experiences we have two very important uh, yeah. festivals we you know we celebrate one is ganesh and um, one is uh, Christmas. We celebrate okay. because Sitara loves that Santa whole Claus. Santa Claus <laughs> and that whole setting up the tree. And, you know, it's like a big, uh, if we are here. Mm. So we celebrate Christmas and Ganesh. Like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's a okay. feature in our house. Namrata, this is a Chakra Siddha experience. I have a lot of people who have been interviewed. And I heard that, you know, I had a lot of headaches and he came over See, because Chakra of this. See, Chakra Siddha Prima uh, is, uh, it's a place in mm. Hyderabad mm. Uh, where there's alternate healing, we call it. Okay. And um, it's more like, you know, people have aches and pains. Mm. They'll go to a doctor. Mm. You'll say, oh, I have back pain. Doctor, right. give me something. Mm. Uh, Sindha Magaru is the founder of Chakra Siddha Clinic. Okay. And it's, I won't say it's a clinic. It's more like an alternate healing mm. uh, place where uh, there are no medicines. Okay. You know, you just literally go meet her with whatever pain you have anywhere in your body. Mm. And she with her, um, you know, just with her hands, like they have that. Um, she's learned this art. Okay. Um, it's a it's a very old art of uh, you know chakra and the body the, chakra uh, yes, yes. Align um, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So that is something that um, she does with literally her bare hands, hmm. and you will see the difference in three to five sittings hmm. of of any like you know uh, so many people have migraines, so many people hmm. have back pain, so many people have knee pain. People couldn't walk. And they have been, uh, you know, she's made them walk. Yeah. People who uh, had cancer have been cured with her treatments. In and its, and in it's scientific form. Form. She's very scientific in her approach. She, it's, it's a craft that she has learned from her ancestors. Oh. Okay. So, you know, from generations to generations. So now she is carrying the thing forward. And um, 
హ్యాట్స్ ఆఫ్ టు హర్ బికాస్ షీ సో సో గుడ్ నీకు ఎలా తెలిసింది అసలు తన గురించి యాక్చువల్ గా నాకు సితారా తర్వాత ఐ హ్యాడ్ అ వెరీ బ్యాడ్ స్లిప్ డిస్క్ బ్యాక్ పెయిన్ ఓకే అండ్ నెక్ పెయిన్ సో ఐ యూస్ టు హ్యావ్ దిస్ దిస్ హోల్ యు నో ఐ కుడ్ సిట్ లిటరలీ ప్రాపర్లీ అండ్ స్టాండ్ and um, i met her through some very um, uh, you know i i just happened to meet her mm. and they said you try so i said what you know uh, what to who can help me right. now they're saying bed rest mm. and all six literally four five sessions and i i mean you can see me now uh-huh. it's she's miraculous mm. i mean i just think sanamma uh, garu mm. we call her um sindhuja garu yeah, yeah yeah um she's literally literally she has magic in her hands mm. and even mahesh's migraine he had very very bad migraine yeah so you know she scientifically works on the chakras of of your body to uh, okay. and there's there's no medicine my biggest um you know with i don't like taking medicines mm. for no reason mm. um so for me when they said there no medicines she will heal you with her touch okay so it sounded unimaginable but it worked mahesh and me literally like for us uh, we like her uh, brand ambassador and then for uh, chakra <laughs> okay, siddha because okay. if we can help people it's a need of the hour if right. we can help people to not go to a doctor and go to her hmm. why would you spend that money yeah yeah and keep taking medicines and then which is not which is harmful for your body wonderful namrata thank you so much it was a thank lovely you. conversation but thank i want you. to close it with quick bites so my favorite films enti mahesh babu pokiri murari okkadu attadu okay srimantudu srimantudu good vamsi you don't like no enduku ante it's it was not one of uh, uh. సినిమా షూటింగ్ టైమ్ లో డైవర్ట్ అయిపోయి మీ ప్రపంచంలో మీరున్న సినిమా బాగా రాలేదేమో రీజన్ అదొక రీజన్ అయ్యి మహేష్ కో స్టార్స్ లో మీ ఫేవరెట్ ఎవరు హీరోస్ ఐ కెన్ టెల్ టూ త్రీ నేమ్స్ కో స్టార్స్ ఐ ఫ్రాంక్లీ థాట్ హీ వాజ్ గ్రేట్ విత్ సొనాలి ఇన్ మురారి ఐ లవ్ హిస్ పేరింగ్ విత్ శామ్ um bhumika in, in okkudu was a classic that i think yeah. these were iconic trisha and atulu those scenes were amazing amazing i thought uh, i mean timing wise uh, even anushka and his kaleja scenes mm. were brilliant mayesh babu gar lo janaga me baaga nache gunam enti as a person and as an actor as a person he is extremely loving and kind mm. hearted like he has a heart of gold okay you know that is what i think um, really uh, brings me closer to him each day mm. as an actor i think he's very focused mm. he has one single like for him work is it's like his life you know he gives a lot of importance to his craft he's very passionate about his work he doesn't treat it like oh it's there and that's what i'm doing he takes it very seriously general ga mahesh babu garu chaala silent to ekku maatladaru chaala quiet untaru antaru but maatladthe matram punch lestaru okka silent kuda sadam ga one line edo atla bomb velisinattu telustaru so i think you know better about his sense of humor it's amazing <laughs> <laughs> he has a great sense of humor great okay and uh, not many people have seen it mm. but um, it's it's really really um, fabulous emanna okka incident emanna cheppagalara maaku share chesukogalara aina sense of humor ki inka parakashta peaks are there are many i can't remember any next time i'll i'll actually think and come gurtu pettukoni vastara avunu mahesh garu cinema lo meeku assalu nachana cinema enti vamsi gaakunda actually sainikudu sainikudu okay was not my yeah, it was yeah. not one of my favorite mm. aithe general ga mahesh gar cinema lo em ostunnaya ani fans tho pad andarki oka excitement untadi ipudu raboye vi trivikram gar tho okati rajamouli gar tho i think line up undi mm. this is a good line up so me excitement etla undi 
రాజమౌళి గారితో అంటే చాలా మంది ఎదురు చూస్తుంటారు సో ఐఎమ్ రియల్లీ లుకింగ్ ఫార్వర్డ్ టు బోత్ ద ఫిల్మ్స్ పత్రవిక్రమ్ గారు ఫిల్మ్ అండ్ రాజమౌళి సర్స్ ఫిల్మ్ ఐఎమ్ వెయిటింగ్ ఫర్ బోత్ ద ఫిల్మ్ ఎప్పుడు స్టార్ట్ అవుతుంది ఐ రియలీ డోంట్ నో బట్ త్రివిక్రమ్ గారు ఇస్ ఆల్రెడీ స్టార్టెడ్ ఎస్ యూ నో అండ్ రాజమౌళి గారు సూన్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఓకే సో మహేష్ గారి సినిమాల్లో ఏదన్నా ఒక డైలాగ్ మీకు ఫేవరెట్ అంటే వాట్ ఈస్ అయిలాగ్ డైలాగ్ ఐ డోంట్ నో తెలుగు ప్రాపర్లీ అవైస్ ఏదో డైలాగ్ కదా ఐ నో అన్ని చూస్తాను డైలాగ్ ఇస్ దట్ వన్ ఓన్లీ నో బుల్లెట్ దిగిందా లేదా అని దట్స్ ఆల్ ఐ నో ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఫ్లూయెంట్ అండి ఇన్ తెలుగు సో ఐ డోంట్ లైక్ మీరు ఎప్పుడు నేర్చుకుంటారు ఫ్లూయెంట్ గా తెలుగు మీరు హైదరాబాద్ వచ్చి పదిహేడు ఏళ్ళు అవుతుంది అవును వస్తుంది కొంచెం బట్ ఇంట్లో పనిచేసే వాళ్ళందరూ తెలుగు వాళ్ళే అందరు మరి అందరితో తెలుగు మాట్లాడతారు మాట్లాడతాను బట్ ఇది మీ ముందు కూర్చుంటే మాట్లాడాలంటే కొంచెం అమ్మ మీరు మరి నన్ను నా తెలుగు అంత గొప్పగా ఉండదులేండి తిడుతుంటారు మీరు ఎప్పుడు ఇంగ్లీష్లో మాట్లాడతారు ఇది పడుతుంది హౌ డూ సే ఐ డోంట్ ఫీల్ కాన్ఫిడెంట్ ఓకే టు టాక్ ఐ ఐ స్పీక్ వెల్ బట్ మీ అందరి ముందు ఇప్పుడు మాట్లాడాలంటే కొంచెం ఇది కాన్ఫిడెన్స్ పోతుంది మీరు ఏ సినిమాలో ఇంకా చెయ్యను అన్నారు కానీ ఒకవేళ ఒక అవకాశం మహేష్ బాబుతో చేసే అవకాశం వస్తే ఎప్పటికైనా థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ ఈవెన్ విత్ మహేష్ బాబు నో ప్లీజ్ నథింగ్ జస్ట్ అలా కనిపించి వెళ్ళడానికి నో లేదు నో ఓకే థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ నమృత లవ్లీ థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ ఫర్ ఇన్వైటింగ్ మీ అండ్ ఇట్స్ బిన్ లాంగ్ ఓవర్ డ్యూ ఎస్ ఎస్ అండ్ ఐ హోప్ దిస్ Works no, well it, it did. And I'm happy that we did this because it's a very meaningful conversation. I don't want to talk to you about this. At last. I don't want to talk to you about this. I don't want to talk to you about this. I don't want to talk to you about this. So I have a gift hamper for you. Thank you. Namrata here is a gift hamper for you from Millet Bank. Thank you. Thank you.